Hey, I'm Nick Benjamin from that show, Movie News. I hope you've heard of it because if not, I've got a movie news flash for you. It's this. Quick disclaimer before this week's episode, as longtime viewers of our short time show will note, we started off as a segment of the review crew without the review crew's permission. But after they found it, they decided to green light us doing a full show. One episode later and our show is doing so well that the Orange Television Network is finding some new ways to monetize us. So there's gonna be a couple sponsored messages in this movie news. They're small and unobtrusive, you should hardly notice them, but it's what we've gotta to do to keep the show going. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this week, movie news is really gonna push the boundaries of the industry and put the quotation marks around the word news. I'm Nick Benjamin, and I never expected to get this far. Get ready for the video equivalent of a speakeasy because it's time for movie news! <laughs> Our first story today is for all the gamers in the audience. Yeah, baby! This March, a movie is releasing on Apple TV Plus about Tetris? That's right, people. After Hollywood has exhausted most story-based video games, they're planning on telling the story of everyone's favorite colorful blocks. I'm lying, of course. This movie isn't based in the Tetris universe. Although between you and me, I would love to see the origins of the T-Spin. It's actually based off the incredible story of how Tetris got made. Despite what you may think, the movie isn't going to be some PG romp filled with fart jokes and flossing. It is an R-rated political thriller. It will tell the true story of Hank Rogers, played by Taron Egerton, and his intense legal battle to secure the intellectual property rights to Tetris. This may not seem that interesting to you, and I can't blame you. I was in that same position. Mentally, I was against this movie. I said, this premise sucks. How could you possibly make that interesting? But I watched the trailer. All right, what's up, movie army? Let me check out this Tetris trailer. Where's he going? Yo! Now, obviously, I can't wait for this movie. Now, let's hear a quick word from one of those sponsors I mentioned earlier. Hey there, Jackson Jills, it's your old chum Truman Lett. Let me tell you a story. I, like my father before me and his father's father, am a proud patriot. And just like the rest of them, I'm always scrounging in the dirt and the grime and the soot to find ways to help out our boys fighting the good fight. The best way to serve your nation is by buying war bonds. Every war bond you buy is another carrot in the mouth of your soldier's favorite horse. Another bubble in the bathtub of our most esteemed generals. Plus, each bond comes with an exciting and ever-useful tax break. Be a good lad and throw our soldiers a bone. This has been Truman Lap of the Committee for War Bond Sales and At Home Rabbit Care. Signing off. Are we back? Oh, we're back. Hello, everyone. Breaking news! Ant-Man stinks! At least, according to some people. The only thing people can agree on about this movie is that MODOK is awesome! This division over the movie is reflected in its score on the aggregate review website Rotten Tomatoes. It currently has a critic score of 48%, placing it as the second lowest reviewed MCU movie on the website, just ahead of Eternals. Fans, though, seem to have a different opinion, with the audience score sitting at a cool 83. Some of these reviews are a little out there, so today we're going to play a little game. Folks, welcome to a new segment called the Enron Review Review Hour, sponsored by Enron. To conclude this epic movie news trilogy, I've invited back my two previous guests, Truman Lab and Matt Harris. How are we, boys? Hey! How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, boy. <laughs> Here's how your game is going to work. Try not to cry. It's simple. I'm going to read your review, and you're going to have to guess whether it's real or fake. They're all going to be about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and they're all going to be from Rotten Tomatoes. None of the reviews will contain any plot points or spoilers, so you can play along at home even if you haven't seen the movie. I'll reveal the scores and the winner at the end of the game. So I've got my reviews here written on my Enron brand index cards. This first one is fresh. It says, this movie is a great setup for the rest of the MCU. I feel like the overall Marvel story is concise and a new viewer can jump in at any point and still get what's going on. Long live Kevin Feige. What do we think, boys? Is that real or fake? There's no way it's real. Um, no, I don't think it's real because you say, because Long live Kevin Feige seems akin to praising the mouse, which is the thing you said last episode. I watched <laughs> this, so I think this is a, I think this is a big thing for the original. 
Right, this review is rotten. It says, Yuck! This movie was a blaspheme to the space opera genre. It is as if Star Wars had a child with a turd. That's real. That's well, real. I'm not even that doubt in my mind. Rotten tomatoes do people. Are people that disparaging on rotten tomatoes? Yes. Yes. Mm, yes. Sure, why not? It's real. Alright, this next one is fresh. It was great, especially the acting. I swear, though, I thought Kang and Ant-Man were going to kiss at one point, lol. I don't know what point. Let me post that. That's a thing you'd say. Uh, that's no, that's real. That's, that's real. real. No, I, think, I disagree with you. I think it's real. Well, I guess we're, I guess we're not going to have the same answers. Great. This review is rotten, and it just says, loved it. It's rotten. It's rotten. So the person left a negative review of the movie and they said, loved it! <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, why not? That's real. It's real? True um, opinion. Yeah, no, I think that's real. It's either real or I've just given a glowing endorsement to Nick Benjamin's writing skills. So hopefully <laughs> it's real. And our final review here. This is a rotten review. Yes. Yes. It says, yes. and I quote, no, no, no! I'm gonna use a line that my dad always used to say. That was a snore, sure, and a downright bore. I can't decide which was more of a mess, the CGI or the script. Saved by mostly good performances, though, from Jonathan Majors and Michelle Pfeiffer. I remember saying to you that we are in a Jonathan Majors era, so. I think he wrote that. I think Nick wrote that. I, I think it's real. He said it with the pride. He said it with the pride as if he was a a woodworker holding one of his finest wood creations. All right, well, how do you boys feel about your answers? Are we confident? Fantastic, right? <laughs> no. All right, well, they were all wrong! They were all wrong! Everyone was fake! Every review was fake! We're taking off to our sponsor, Enron! We all did fraud! Never trust anything! Cut. Do I have any more ad reads? Yeah. Let's go get that done. Woo! All right, let's wrap this up. What am I reading for? It's a uh, Gabe Shadow Legends. What? That's right, viewer. This episode of Movie News is sponsored by Gabe Shadow Legends. This is one of my favorite games right now, and you can play it right on your phone. Utilize your favorite members of the review crew in epic battles against the forces of evil in epic turn-based battles. If you log in now and use our code MOVIENEWS3, you'll get 5,000 movie bucks for free and access to the exclusive event, Gabe's Conquest. Thanks again to Gabe Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching this episode of Movie News. I'm Nick Benjamin. Good night. This sucks, man. I can't believe we have to read for this garbage. And who's gonna read this? Nick. No one. Everyone's gonna skip past you. it anyway. No, I, I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm going to Gabe, and I'm telling him we're not doing any more of these stupid ad reads. Okay. We, we got paid early. All right. How much can this possibly be for? It's not worth it. We got movie bread. You can eat it. <laughs> you can look at it. Movie bread. Welcome in. Bring it into your home. Movie bread, baby. <laughs>